Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2004 Dodge Viper SRT10 in brilliant white on black, white, and red interior. Uh, so we'll just start over at the back. Uh, this is the Mamba edition, so it is numbered car 107 of 200. Um, so we'll have a look here in the back. Uh, so there's a spare set of mats uh, back here. Um, we've got the uh, Viper logo there. Um, and there's a carpeted bottom here that looks like it's in really good shape as you can see. Uh, there's the convertible top uh, that folds down. Um, so uh, I'll close the trunk lid here so we can have a look from the back. Um, there it is. So here it is from the back. It's got uh, black with a red uh, side stripe there that go up and over the top. It looks fantastic. Uh, we've got uh, nice dark uh, tinted tail lights on the back. We have the Viper logo just down here on the rear of the bumper. And I'll shift around to this side. Here's the rear wheel. So it's got matte black wheels. It's got nice Michelin tires and red painted calipers. And you can see inside there, there is the uh, Viper logo on the inside of the wheel. Uh, we've got side exhaust pipes. So there's the outlet just behind the passenger door. And uh, here at the passenger side, we've got a carbon fiber look trim piece along the top. Uh, black and red uh, uh, trim there, uh, door speaker, and then we've got our power lock. Um, have a look at the uh, door sill on the passenger side, it's in good shape. And we've got the uh, upgraded Viper mats with the SRT10 done in red, looks fantastic. And I'll go ahead and scan up this seat so you can see the condition. Looks great. A little bit of fading there on the uh, emblem, but uh, that's expected with the age. Overall, the seat looks fantastic. Uh, so as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and clean. Have a look here in the glove box. So in the glove box, the oil's been changed. Uh, it's not due till uh, 52,000 miles. Uh, we've got the uh, wheel lock key and we have the books. Um, and we've got an auxiliary cable uh, in for the radio here. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll close that. Have a look at the dash while I'm over here on this side. Looks good, so let's get out and uh, close uh, this side up. And I'll just scan along this side of the car so you can see the condition. We haven't polished this car yet, so it will get five-step polished. And we've got the Viper logo in silver with the SRT 10 in red, looks great. And here's your front wheel. Um, so again, nice matte black wheels, red painted calipers, and Michelin tires. We'll shift around to the front, we'll have a look under the hood. So here's the uh, Viper V10 motor, which is 500 horsepower, 525 foot-pounds of torque, paired to a six-speed Tremec transmission. Uh, nice and clean, looks good. And we'll go ahead, we'll close the hood. And we'll have a look from the front. So here it is from the front. Uh, it's got the Viper logo there, and again, that red and black stripe. Um, there's little, little bits of... Uh, you know, minor scratches or scuffs that are going to come out um, that are probably on every car. Um, it bothers me, but, uh, you know, like I said, we will five-step polish it, so it will look fantastic when we're done. Um, we've got the uh, uh, tinted uh, headlight covers with the HID bulbs. They look great. We've got fog lights down below. Uh, bumper's in good shape. Everything looks good. Uh, in terms of issues, um, like I said, there's little minor, I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but those are going to come out when we polish it. Uh, there's a stone chip here and up here, uh, which is expected with the age, one down here. Um, so some of them, you know, they may buff out. Uh, anything that doesn't, we'll touch up. We'll make it look the best we can for you. Uh, we'll shift around this side here. Here's your other front wheel. Uh, so again, matte black wheels, red painted calipers, Michelin tires. And same thing back here. And again, we've got that side exhaust outlet here. And here's your driver's door panel. So again, that carbon fiber look piece along the top, power locks, power mirrors, um, red and black, looks great. And here's the uh, door frame on the pot or driver's side, looks good. And uh, we'll go ahead and scan up that seat so you can see the condition, looks good. And as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and clean. And we'll get in, we'll fire this one up. Uh, so we've got uh, two physical keys and one remote. So you turn the key to uh, the start position, we'll find neutral, it's got a nice short shifter here. And we've got push button start. There it is, awesome. So here's the 
dash. There we are. So no warning lights or issues there. Looks good. Uh, we've got 43,834 miles. Uh, so I believe it's about 69,000 kilometers. Um, we've got our headlights. Uh, so we turn those on on the stock here and everything lights up as you can see. Dash looks good. Um, over here we've got manual uh, tilt. Um, and then down below, uh, this uh, right here is actually power pedals. Uh, so you can move the pedals forwards and backwards. So that's great. Um, and then over here, again, we've got our gauges. So we've got PSI, we've got uh, temperature, uh, another temperature gauge there, and a battery gauge. Uh, we've got a radio. Um, so it's a six disc changer. Um, AM FM and again, again there is an auxiliary line in the, the glove box. We've got AC, it is blowing cold right now. Feels good. Uh, down here we've got our 12 volt socket. We've got our uh, emergency brake which is done in red and black with red stitch. We've got our power windows here and here's your Mumba sticker. So again it is 107 of 200. Um, and here we've got our center console. We've got passenger airbag on and off. Another 12 volt socket. Behind me, we've got two speakers done by Alpine, and we've got a rear view mirror here. Um, so, since it's convertible, I'm gonna open the trunk again. We'll put the top back up so you can have a look at the top. Uh, so to do that, I will uh, hit the trunk button here. Um, and let's hop out and do that.